What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me, like, about the old Black Rico case, you know, the whole thing that's going on, linking them to FBG Duck murder. I kind of got an update from you because I've been speaking with a lot of people. Remember, I'm a street reporter. Uh, a lot of people like the YouTube channel, so I be getting people sending me certain information to take you guys a while to get, you know. But, um... I talked to a lot of people that kind of told me it ain't really like a new update going on. It seemed like these guys then kept quiet. Uh, seemed like they gonna go along with this and fight this case right here. Uh, this the thing right here, I'm not sure people realize from what I was told. Most of the evidence that they have implicates a guy named Los. Not saying Los did it, this is all allegedly, but remember they're claiming they got police readers that then scanned his license plates, him bringing back a car that was maybe used in the killing or something and returned it all kind of things like that so they got the receipts and everything for los what they're claiming Muwap and the rest of the other guys is pretty much circumstantial evidence you know uh video crammer catching multiple suspects but nobody had a clear face shot you know a lot of people relied off clothes uh what people was wearing how they walk rumors on the street what people was saying names i actually heard social media played a part in this i'm not sure how big of a part it played but you know i'm hearing the information that they got on the rest of the guys is basically circumstantial now remember this is the is. This is the FBI. They know to kind of keep shit under wraps until it's ready to hit so they can come with those big times and maybe work out a deal and help people out. That's why I felt this case was a little different. We seen what happened to Young Dolph. Young Dolph lost his life. The killer was captured quick, or one of the killers. However, they trying to say it panned out. Normally what happened, the police arrest everybody in the community, you know, hopefully to catch a person with a gun, some weed, some drugs, maybe a warrant. You get an instant get out of jail free card if you can give us some type of information to lead to this arrest. I believe that's what happened to Young Dolph. That's the reason why his killing was caught so fast. You know, duck case took a while. But once the feds came in, they kind of locked in who they believe did it. Now, remember, all this is allegedly. So we're not going to be on here playing the Internet games. But that's what I talked to uh, as far as the lawyers. I'm not sure. I just spoke with a lot of people that told me most of these guys have personal lawyers. I'm not sure if there's any public defenders that's going to be involved in this case. Maybe. Who knows, you know. Uh, but I'm sure Dirk want to kind of stay as far as away as he can from this case. I'm not saying he can't help with the money, maybe give a lawyer or something from the background. But I think Dirk want to distance himself from a case that involves a rapper dying that he was involved in an internet feud and dispute with. So I'm not sure if Dirk going be able to help out on the public side you know what i'm saying but subscribe to my youtube channel i'm gonna keep you updated on this I got a lot of news I want to tell you guys about D-Rose 600. Uh, I've been talking with a lot of people who just told me some new news about him, and I'm going to share it with you guys in my next blog. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blah, 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 blah.